Welcome back to Skyrim. It's a nice, quiet night here, just outside of Fort Dawnguard. Beautiful night, a little bit of snow falling here. You can see the stars, the moon just peeking up from behind Fort Dawnguard. We're traveling with Mule the Lioness. And we're just sitting here by the fire. Actually, we're standing by the fire. <laughs> we're not sitting on anything. I was pretending like I was sitting. Because we read a book at the end of the last episode. And I uh, wanted to sit by the fire while we read a book. <clears throat> <laughs> Mjol is like, quit screwing around. Let's go. <laughs> We've been given a task by Isran, the leader of the vampires. I've met Isran, the leader of a group of vampire hunters. Not vampires, vampire hunters. Known as the Dawn Guard. The vampires that attacked the Hall of the Vigilance may have been after something in a place called Dim Hollow Crypt. Isran has asked me to find out what the vampires are looking for. Well, if you look at this on the map, you'll see that it's it's way up here. I mean, it is really, really far away. Here's Dawnstar, Winstad Manor, Morthal. It, it, is, it is way up here. We are way over here. Uh, here. This is where we are. We're very far away. So, in keeping with my whole no fast traveling in the middle of a quest, we are going to walk back to Riften. We're going to grab a carriage there. and We're going to take it as close as we can get. I don't know exactly where that's going to be. But that's what we're going to try to do. Which way do I go here? Well, this path, this path goes north, so that's not going to take me to Riften. I don't think. I actually don't know which way to go. That's very strange. I mean, I'm, I'm facing, facing north, right? But if you look at me on the map, I'm facing south. Unless I've just been wrong the entire time I've been playing this, and this is actually south. I don't think that's the case, though. I don't know what's going on. I, <laughs> I don't remember how to get out of here. How do we get out of this pass? I think we go down through here, don't we? This canyon. So right now I'm heading south. If we look at our map. It still has to be pointing south. I think it's because we're in the DLC right now. And we're not actually in Skyrim. We're in this canyon. And I think this shows up differently on the map, I think. Some waterfalls over there. Which way do we go now? Well, I guess we'll go this way towards the waterfalls. It's pretty magnificent. My father wanted me to follow in his footsteps as a hunter. Oh yeah? But I set my aspirations a bit higher. Yeah. He never complained. I miss him. Yeah. Looks like we get a little hunting camp down here, maybe. I guess I could have maybe slept and waited till morning to start traveling. But that's okay. So this makes me wonder... Like I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure this is a DLC. Makes me wonder what the map looked like before this DLC was here. Did the map still look like this and there was just nothing out here? Maybe like this here was the far eastern edge of the map and there was nothing further this way. And, you know, they added this on as part of the DLC. I don't know. I like this piece of music, music that's playing, but I do kind of wish that if this is a DLC they recorded new music for it but yeah this is this is one of my favorite pieces of music it just really kind of sets a mood doesn't it I feel like it does I kind of like the mood kind of like it all right back to rift and we go now I'm looking north and if we look on the map we'll see that uh yeah, I'm more or less facing north. We got this path here, and we got a path there. That continues in this direction. 
But like I said, we're going to go back to Riften. And apparently we're going to take our sweet time. Who's this? I want to hit F5 here, because this person... Just standing there, unmoving. Kind of creepy. It's a Khajiit. Hey. How's it going? Oh, it's Maik. Some say Alduin is Akatosh. Some say Maik is a liar. Don't you believe either of those things? Okay. I won't. I won't believe either of those things. So, this road here, I believe, will take us back to Riften. But it'll take me to the side of Riften I don't want to go on. I don't think. I think we want to go on the north side of Riften, where the, um... The carriage... Not the carriage, the stables are. And where the carriage is, yeah. So I think I'm going to cut through here. I think this will take me to where I want to go. I could be wrong. We're going to try to cut through this way. There we go. You can see my uh, compass there. Well, you could for a moment. For just a moment. Whoa. Whoa. Ancient vampire. Whoa. 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 This guy's going to kill me. Whoa, look right here. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> is this a wolf? Some kind of dog? What is this? I gotta get up in personal with this guy. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Whew. Extreme healing. We'll just take a potion of regular healing on top of that. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh. This vampire is sh -wee, showing me who's boss. Oh man. Wow. I don't know where that dog went or whatever it was, but I guess Mjall took care of it. Ancient vampire. Flawless garnet, three gold, lockpick. Some armor and vampire dust, which is worth quite a bit. We'll be picking that up. Wow. Wow. Mjol? Mjol, are you okay? I love the cold. Oh, phew. It's exhilarating. I was worried. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. Well, I'm glad that you're still alive. Because, uh, that was tough. Ancient vampire. My God. Goodness, how am I going to deal with them? Uh, how many how many potions did I just take? My gosh! <sighs> I guess a better strategy. I, I forgot part of my strategy because a while back somebody left me a comment with the how to deal with vampires, and they said to use my Fusroda to push them away, and then while they're on the ground, run up on them with my sword and start chopping at them. Uh, I forgot the Fusro do, Fusro do, do part, whatever. Need a ride? Uh, I'd like to hire your carriage, please, good sir. Where do you want to go? Well, Dawnstar, Falkrith, Markarth, Morthal, Solitude, Whiterun, Windhelm, Winterhold, never mind. So, I think either Dawnstar or Morthal would be a good choice. Let's look at the map here and see. So, we are looking to go here. Here's Dawnstar, and here is Morthal. Uh, I'm thinking... Gosh, they're both kind of equidistant, aren't they? Um, and they both cost the same. They're both 50 gold to get to. So, I feel like... Let's, let's go to Dawnstar. No. <laughs> no, we're not going to... We'll have him take us to Dawnstar. I can take you to any of the whole... Where do you want to go? Okay, Dawnstar. Climbing back and we'll be off. All right. Here we go. Couldn't Sun's just coming up. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't ask for better weather. I agree. You uh, coming with me, Mial? I guess not.
Ooh, weapons used by the Dawn Guard do extra damage when attacking vampires. Maybe I should have tried my, um... This is my horse? Here's my horse. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have tried my uh, crossbow. Okay, well, we're not going to Dawnstar. We're going in the opposite direction. Um, I guess I'm, let's go ahead and hop on my horse. Why not? Can you imagine? Yeah, you're, you're starting to repeat your stories there, Mjol. Well, let's uh, follow the road here. At least for a bit, and then we'll veer off and start heading in the direction of uh, where we're going here. Mjol keeps up. She's pretty quick. I'm going to cut through here. See if we can avoid that wolf in the, in the road up there. Because it's a pain in the hand. Pain in the, pain in the butt to have to. Well, she jump off of the horse to fight the wolf, but maybe, um, maybe be all take care of him. Uh, oh, she's not going to. There she is. There. <laughs> she just hit me with that thing. I'm gonna take those, uh, staffs away from her, man. She keeps, she keeps hitting me. Now I know how all my followers have felt this whole playthrough when I Kept hitting them with my fireball. <laughs> hmm. Starting to get a little worried here. How we're going to get up to this place. Uh, do I need to go through these ruins to get there? Here's Frostmere Crypt. Oh, gosh. How do I get to this place? I really don't know. Do I need to go around the mountain a little bit? Man, I I don't know. Let's see if we can figure this out. Is this cave up high? Is it down low? Now, we've been here before, or at least it's it appears as though we've been here before because it's Marked on my, uh, my map. Let's see if this will take us up here. I don't... Ah, oh, man, I'm, I can't go up that way. How do I get to this place? How, how steep of a hill can a horse go up? <laughs> Pretty damn steep. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, horse. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Well, this might be maybe up as high as we could go. Uh, pretty good. Whoa, look at this horse go. Nice. Okay. Oh, check it out. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a path right there. <laughs> well, hopefully... Um, Y'all will come running around there and join us here momentarily. Good job, horse. Horse with no name. Well, here it is. Here's Dim Hollow Crypt. Um, Mjol will catch up with me when I get in here, right? She'll be here. That, that's how it works, right? Dim Hollow Crypt. Boy, I hope she she's here because I am going to need her help fighting these vampires. Vampires have my number, man. Okay, good. She's right here. She's facing the wrong way, but she's right here. Okay, here we go. These vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well, though. Jedon and Bressoth were no match for him. Ha! Those two deserved what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. Oh, this talk is making me thirsty. <laughs> Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would hurry it up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. 
And I have half a mind to tell Lokel of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. Now shut up and keep on watch. Hmm. Let us go in here to our inventory. We're going to take this crossbow, we're going to favorite it. And we're going to try to use it, although I, I really am not expecting much with these steel bolts. I'm really not. There's nothing special about them at all. And then I go here. And the crossbow we could put in slot number... I mean, I've got... I don't think I have anything in slot number 5 at the moment. So we'll put it in slot 5. And we'll just see how this goes. But, I mean, I'm... I'm I am really, really concerned about this. These guys are going to tear me up. Where are they? I mean, I heard them talking pretty plainly. So it seems like they will, would be pretty close by. Okay, there's one over there. Pretty far away. Don't think I want to try to hit him with a crossbow from here. And give my location away. However, he's going to see me as soon as I walk out there, so... Part of me is like, well, why not go ahead and just start shooting at him? Maybe I could get one shot off on him. And, uh, light, you know, kind of soften him up a little bit. Okay, so much for aiming with the crossbow. Look at that. You don't aim with the crossbow, you just shoot it. Sneak attack for two times damage, so I did hit him. Uh, something's going on over there behind the waterfall, too. Yep. Somebody's running. I'm hidden again. No way. Did I kill him? Is that a body lying there? Did I kill him? Holy cow. There's no way. Wow. Okay, then. I mean, yes, it was sneak attack, so we got double damage, but still, I, did, I was not expecting that at all. What is that noise? I think there's a an animal standing right there, isn't there? Death Hound. It's moving. It's on the move. Ah, eh, crap. What's going on over there? Oh, hi. Yes, good job, Mjol. We got to see your users, Grim Sever. Cool. Oh, 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 movement, movement. We've got movement. Oh, oh, oh. Sneak attack for two times damage, but she's not dead. Matter of fact, according to this, she still has full health. Archery is increased. coming. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh! She reanimated this dog. Well, so much for that idea of trying to fuss her daughter. Oh! Wow, she was a pushover. Take her gold, lockpicks, potion of healing, vampire dust. And, and, and... Oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm traveling with Mjol. Nothing against Jordis, but... <laughs> Look at her double staffing it. <laughs> she goes staff at each hand. <laughs> this is great. I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Yet I never tire of a good fight. What do you make of that? I don't know, but you're gonna, we're going to have plenty of fights right here. I still can't believe I killed that guy with one hit over here. Master Vampire, who... Who killed the Master Vampire? Who killed... Oh, that's right. They were talking, and they said the Vigilant came in and did kill two... Two vampires. So I guess these are them. Here's Here he is, Vigilant Tolan. He's got an amulet of Stendar. Look how valuable these apprentice robes of restoration are. Very valuable indeed. And then, I guess he did this. He turned one of them into an ash pile, I guess. And then over here... Should be... Somewhere over here should be the vampire that we took out. Where is he? Huh. 
Oh, he's over there? Or no, that's, um... That's the woman. Where is this guy? Let me get a look at him from over here. Let's go back to where we were. See if I could triangulate his location. We were hiding behind this. Oh, crap, where is he? Well... I don't seem to see a body over there anymore. I think it was right in this area. So either the game has decided to erase that asset, or, or maybe it was never a body, maybe he was reanimated, I don't know. But I do not see his body anymore. Hmm. So we've got a path here, guarded by a gate. Well, we're not getting through there. Unless there's a lever or a chain that you pull to get through there. I don't see one right off, so I'm going to guess that we go around to this entrance. Here's a little cart. There's some ruined books in it. Yeah, where did that body go, man? I don't know. don't know where it went. What's down here? Anything? Pretty neat cave, huh? I thought we'd been here before, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe we haven't, because this does not look familiar to me. No body. Ain't got no body. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not going to worry about it. All I know is that it's nice and quiet out here now. Somebody dropped a torch. Ooh. Steel Sword of Draining. It's worth a fair amount. I guess I better F5 it since I survived that out there, huh? I'm gonna take your money, you stupid vampires. Let's see if this chest is trapped. No, it's not. A gold and a scroll of guardian circle. Here's a chain. There you go. That's how we open the gate. Now, I don't know if it's on a timer or anything, if it's going to shut. <coughs> After a certain amount of time, it could shut. And then here's like a little lookout. Looks like maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Not much of a lookout, though, right? This is kind of neat. Okay. Well... Head over there. Hope that gate doesn't shut before we get back over there. All kinds of torches lying around here. crouching, even though I'm wearing heavy armor, crouching does still make me quieter, so I could get a little bit closer, maybe listen in on some conversations, maybe catch some of them by surprise, get my little sneak attack with my bolts shooting from my crossbow. potion in there. Oh, there's somebody standing right there. I think. Huh. No. Either I missed them. That's a person, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Potion of ultimate healing. I'll take that. Search this good old skeleton. Get us some, some gold. Ah, a Draugr? You gonna deal with Draugr down here? Take that stuff.
Oh, I saw movement. There's there's somebody walking around over there. Did you see him? Oh, oh, there's a fight going on over there. Whoa, who's this? Oh, it's Meow. Meow. Doggone it, Meow. Well, she somehow started a fight. That's what I thought was a person right there. I mean, she's doing a good job, I guess, but... Damn, Miel, I wasn't ready for that. We're detected by somebody or something. And it could just simply be that we're detected by this flame atronach here. Or Miel herself, sometimes that happens. Oh! Oh, a, a, a skeleton. Yeah, skeletons. Oh, there's one down there, too. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's three skeletons over there. Whoa! What just happened? Be careful back there, Emil. I think that skeleton's down. Whoa! Skeleton go down pretty easily. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed by me all. It's gonna be sweet, sweet follower revenge is what it's gonna be. All the de my dead followers are gonna be cheering on me all. Don't want any of that crap. Skeletons. I mean, are they in league with the vampires? It's like Halloween when I was a kid. You go as a skeleton, you go as a vampire. We're going to see ghosts down here, Frankenstein. Also popular Halloween costumes when I was a kid. What the hell is that? What is that thing? Pretty ornate. Another one here. Huh. Don't know what those are. Look at this place. It's fascinating. Hmm. What the hell? Oh, are these graves? These are graves. I'm just now noticing. Rise from your grave. Anybody remember what game that's from? No cheating. Don't go online and search for it. You either know or you don't. Not real sure what purpose that lever has unless they're trying to keep people in here. Guess it's possible we got a drugger here. A chest. Oh, something else in here too. It's been a while since we faced Draugr, it feels like. They can be a pain in the butt. There's some high level Draugr that can be a problem. There's somebody walking around down there. We're gonna clear this place out here first. Try to anyway. We got a arcane enchanter here. Anything that I want to disenchant? Say Skyrim is one of the nope. most dangerous places in Tamriel. I think they're wrong. It's magnificent, and I'm proud to call it home. Take these potions and these gems. Maybe weaken the vampires in the process. What does the map of this place look like? And why are you standing up? I'm crouching. Oh, maybe I wasn't crouching. I thought I was. Maybe I stood up when I pulled that lever? I don't know. Interesting looking place, huh? Well, whatever we're looking for is here. So this is a... I'm forgetting. This isn't necessarily the, uh, the vampire's camp. They came here because they're looking for something. So that explains the skeletons and the draugr. Right?
Yep, somebody's walking around down there in a robe. Could very well be a vampire. Whoa, somebody just fusro dod. Okay, there's a battle going on down there, and I'm thinking maybe we just let it play out. It's probably vampires facing some Draugr down there. I don't remember what the Draugr's called that casts the fusro dod, but he can be a pain in the butt. Oh, Draugr White. Look at this. Are you going to fight him or not? A Draugr Death Lord. Why has he got full health? Oh, this is a Draugr White. Interesting. Draugr Death Lord is top, top center on my compass. Crap, I don't like her being in there fighting in that closed quarters because I can't... I'm not going to go casting uh, stuff in there. the snow with your blood. I like that. Back him up a little bit. Get her out of arm's way. You okay, Mjol? Yeah, she's okay. Good job, Mjol. Good job. Detected by somebody. Probably that Atronach again, huh? Probably what it is. Oh, we get one of our steel bolts back. Whoa, Mjol? She's a little, little aggressive. Oh, hey, how's it going? I love how there's an option to talk to it. <laughs> it just ignores me. gonna see some Draugr stand up here. What do we got here? Deathhound. Look at this cool place. Gate or whatever over there. Oh, look at this. There's another one over here. Pull this and go through here. Look at our map, see what this place is looking like. Okay, got a passage here, we got a passage here, we got a passage here. Let's go back over to this one, because this one is obviously not the direction we want to go in. Let's check this out. This place is awesome! It's kind of reminding me of, um, like some Dark Souls places. Ooh, check him out! Draugr Death Lord. Let's see, what's the best way to deal with him? I mean, this is working pretty well. Except until, uh... Y'all cast a spell or staff at me. Okay, that'll work. Not the most exciting way in the world to fight somebody, but sometimes... Sometimes you just go with what works. Whoa, check him out. Check this dude out, man. Yeah, look at him. Look at this guy. Pretty badass. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I liked it. Okay, so there's a pathway here, at least according to my map. Pathway here, pathway there, and there's a pathway up here too. Let's go to the right, because again, I don't think this is where we're headed. Hmm. A chain around here to pull? I mean, all do you see a chain to pull? There it is. Did you guys see that when I walked up here? You probably did, didn't you? Same thing gonna happen here that happened last time? This one's gonna be smarter and wait till I get closer. No. No, it's not. Potion of Cure Poison. Potion of Minor Magicka. I half thought that... I love the cold oh, hold air. Up. It's exhilarating. Uh-huh. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood. But there's something about it that makes me feel alive. Yeah, I was. There was a part of me that thought that once I picked up these potions, it would trip something, and then we get trapped in here. How do I get out there to get those um, potions over there? Look at that. Ooh, I have really long arms. <laughs> Can I loot this skelly from here? Looking like no, huh? I can't believe I could reach that stuff. Now those I can't reach. Whatever that is. 
Interesting. Huh. What a strange design. Why did they design it like this? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, even more potions there. Look at this. How bizarre. Why did they put those there out of my reach? Let's try something. You ready? Not too bad. Eh, not too bad, right? Come on, that was pretty smart. Come on, that was good thinking. Well, I could do the same thing to those, but those are just itty-bitty potions. It does make me wonder if uh, there were potions uh, that I missed back here, too. Doesn't look like there's anything on that side. And, uh, nothing on that side either. Oh, there's a sword, though. I wonder if that sword's worth a damn. Come on, Fusroda, come back. Wait for it to come back, and we'll see if we can't get this sword over here, see if it's worth a damn. Fusroda! Glass Sword of Blizzards. Sure, let's take it. Oh man, there's a bow over there. I mean, just the simple fact that they're kind of like, I don't want to say hidden, but kind of out of the way, makes me think that they're valuable. Can you think of any other way I could get that out of there besides Fusro Da? I can't. This isn't like Dishonored where I could use the, was it Far Reach? To grab something and pull it towards me? Don't remember the name of it. Let's try this one. Oh, <laughs> just spun around. Oh well, I'm not gonna play with that all day. Okay, so now we got another path this way. See where this takes us. I'm gonna F5 it because it's been a little while. It's very dark in here. You hear some water running. I remember a cut first train to rob me on the road once. Yeah. When I drew Grim Sever, I think the poor man soiled his armor. It's a good story, but I've heard it many times. I'm just now maybe realizing why I liked traveling with Jordis so much. She barely talked. All right, let's get back to Crouchy Crouch. I'm looking to see if I see anybody. This place is awesome. Oh, oh. Oh, look at them coming out of the water. I mean, they're very easy to kill. Oh, 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 now we've got trouble. Now we've got trouble. Now we've got some serious trouble. Vampire Night Stalker. Yowza. Extreme healing. Oh, she's dead. Vampire Night Stalker. Golly. These vampires mean business. I'm not even kidding. They mean business, man. Uh, it's not even worth looking for these skeleton bones. To, to loot them. Not worth it. Vampire Night Stalker? Is that what that was? Oh, lesser Soul Gem. Not filled, though. I'm gonna have to remember to F5 it after every one of these vampire battles, because these guys, they are not to be trifled with. Uh, Skyrim, you continue to impress, I'll tell you that. I mentioned before that I felt like I had gotten to a point after 200 plus hours of playing the game that I felt like every cave was starting to look like every other cave, but man, in the last, I don't know, 20, 30 hours of play, we have come across some really neat places. I mean, look up there. Really cool places. Very different and varied. I really like it. This pl oh, uh, spider. 
So we're continuing around here. I didn't go in here. This ah, this looks like a dead end. I should have gone this way. I wonder how long it'll take me to get back there. I don't want to miss it. Miss out on whatever was in there. I know that there are some of you out there that will be frustrated by the fact that I'm running back here, but it's not that far. It won't take very long. And maybe we'll see something really cool in here and it'll be all worthwhile. I like that the lights come on. When I open that. This is a master chest. We're going to break some lockpicks here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. So just get comfortable. While I try this, did I see movement over here? Oh, a little bit of movement over here, okay. Oh, I thought I had it. Thought I had it. Oh, I thought I had it again. There we go. Adept Robes of Restoration, those are worth a lot. Amulet of Julianus, I may or may not already have that. I don't need a Dwarven War Axe, but I will take the gold and I will take the Staff of Fear. I'm, I'm a scared. Where are you? Um, I'm not seeing anything that I want to try to uh, loot from the side there. Okay. Uh, I'd say that was definitely worth the backtrack. Didn't take us very long and we got some cool stuff out of that chest. I'd say it was worth it. Did she just yawn? a dead spider here. Ooh. Huh. Oh. Oh, damn. Thought I heard <laughs> she's shoot it already. Alright, she's dead. That was good job there, Mjol. I'm sitting there trying to... I'm pressing the freaking button to shoot a bolt and... I'm sitting here thinking about it. This Night Stalker has full health. Oh gosh, we got some death. Holy hell, look. Look at all the enemies. Oh, my health. Oh gosh, it would suck to die now. I'd have to go backtrack again and everything. That would be just exactly the kind of thing that would happen. Extreme healing. Gosh, she's getting her health back, I guess, because... Come on, dude, get out your sword. Man. Freaking taking my time switching weapons. Is there a skill point I could put into weapon switching? Because holy hell, my guy takes forever to switch weapons. Little path over here. Eh, little potion sitting there. We'll take that. Take out my frustrations on absolutely nothing. Ooh. Burial urns. I am an absolute scum. I steal from burial urns. Death Hound. Death Hound. Where did her body go? Pardon me. Where did her body go? I guess it was flung up here somewhere, maybe? Here she is. <laughs> That's an interesting pose. She actually looks almost comfortable. Burial urn. Burial urn. Take a little bit of stuff from there. Okay, let's F5 it. Okay. 
I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Three, huh? Yet I never tire of a good fight. Well. What do you make of that? Ash pile. I mean, I'll take this venom. It's worth something. Search this urn. Every little bit helps. Especially if I keep paying people to train me. It's expensive, man. It's very expensive. Let's see where we are on the map now. Alright, just walking around here. We're getting close. This is looking like a big room where something big is going to happen. So we're getting close. That's scary looking. Got a potion line on the ground here. So, these vampires are not interested in what's in these chests. They just leave everything behind. Not interested at all. Like, I'm not interested in that steel helmet that we just left back there. Oh. There you are. Oh, so they're doing some fighting in here. This is... What we saw from down there when I was talking about how cool this place is. But before we go any further, I'm going to need to end this episode here. But not before we do a little bit of reading. So uh, what do you say we read amongst the dead here? Because even the dead like a good tale every now and again, right? So let's take a look at our book collection. And uh, we'll see what book we're going to read to the dead. Let us read, I don't know, Boethia's Glory. Let's read this. Boethia's Glory. Look upon the face of Boethia and wonder. Raise your arms that Boethia may look on them and bestow a blessing. Know that battle is a blessing. Know that death is an eventuality. Know that you are dust in the eyes of Boethia. Long is the arm of Boethia, and swift is the blade. Deep is the cut, and subtle is the poison. Worship, O faithful. Pray your death is short. Worship, O faithful. Pray your death is quiet. Worship, O faithful. Worship the glory that is Boethia. And that's the whole book. <laughs> so we got a short one this, one, this time. That'll do it for this episode. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I, I'm just so excited that so many people are still watching this playthrough over 200 episodes in. Still having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you're having fun too. If you are, maybe let me know. Maybe, uh, I don't know, leave me a like. Maybe leave me a comment. Maybe share this video with your friends. Maybe go on TV and tell people about it. You know, next time you're on TV, maybe mention it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.